everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's your favorite realtor, Jason Matuk, and today we are in Lighthouse Point, and I'm gonna be showing you this five bedroom, seven bathroom, just under 7,200 square feet. It's built in 2021, and it's asking $6,850,000. As we come up, it's simple. Look at the design of this place. Everything is just fresh and new and modern. This is your two gar garage on my one side, and then you have another garage on that side. And then all this parking space, you have the roundabout driveway, so if you're entertaining, people are coming in and out so easily. And then just look at the shelving, the architecture of this place. Everything is just really fresh and clean, especially in this area. This house stands out. When I was driving up, we were just we had our, our mouths just dropped when we pulled up. It was just amazing. And so I'm gonna remove my glasses because we're going inside. And even the door, look at this. This beautiful, heavy door, see-through glass. And uh, come inside with me. So as soon as you walk in, Eric, see if you can do it. I don't know if you can pan up. Is it possible to pan up? Look at that chandelier coming from the top. It is gorgeous. That's a beautiful pan, Eric. And even the design of this place, like the, the finishings, the furnishing. I mean, look at the huge mirror that you have when you walk in. The vibe is just automatically amazing. And then it starts right in front of me. Look, you walk in, you see the water in your pool. You see the water outside. So much water, I'm about to start crying. And then, God, I don't even know where to begin. Let's just start here in the living room. Cause this is the first place that most guests will probably come to sit down and relax. Everything about this place is gorgeous, including the furnishings, as I said. Look at this couch with the leather on the side, this gorgeous chair. So you're just sitting here. It's nice and cold today. You got the fireplace on, TV would be on that wall. Water on my left, a coffee and a glass of Hennessy because I just love them both. As I said, you have a fireplace and this thing is real. This is no electronics. You get that heat and that warmth. We need that today. It's 55 degrees. And then looking back on this side, you can see everything. It's an open concept so I can see where I'm gonna eat, the dining room, the kitchen, the bar, everything that I wanna see, I can see. And as we come down here, let's get closer to everything. So on this side, we have our wet bar. And the cool thing about the wet bar is that on one side, you have bar stools. And on this side, you have the sink, because truly, if you're having the drink, you wanna be facing that way for the view. You don't wanna be facing the front door. And even right here, look, we have the cucumber and the glass and the drink all ready to go. You're, you're coming into this place, you just bring your toothbrush and the drinks are ready. And then just off of the bar, right over here where the drinks are probably gonna end up going, we have your dining room. And this isn't your average, like, Thanksgiving high back chair dining room. This is an elegant, formal, whoever's cooking here just knows some modern cuisine. They probably have a little culture under their belt. I love it. And while they're sitting here, everyone's gonna fight for this side because you're just looking out and seeing the pool and the water once again. Sunny South Florida day. All I know is if I lived in this house, these three are reserved for me, my, my mom and my sister. Everyone else can get the rest. Just off the dining room where all the food is gonna be prepared, it takes us into the kitchen, the best place in any house. And even from where Eric is standing, the kitchen starts right over here and wraps all the way around. So it's, it's a huge, huge open kitchen, perfect for a big family. Every square inch of this kitchen is just breathtaking. I mean, even right over here where you'd probably have some plates and glasses, the countertop just continues around, goes all the way down. You have the nice, beautiful porcelain tile floor next to your massive fridge and freezer. Look at the size of this thing. Two Sub-Zero appliances right here, and then the back of them has the cabinetry flush going up to the top. So it almost just looks like these are just two big cabinets. We have the best of the best. You hear that sound? That's right, these are Wolf appliances. From the appliances, we have, of course, pantry, and the pantry slides out. So there's no, listen, in a house like this, you don't reach. Reaching is not for the people in this caliber. You just slide out what you need, slide back in when you're done. Soft, closed, slide, soft, closed doors. Down here, this is access into the two car garage. And then on my left, if this wasn't enough pantry space for you, check it out real quick, Eric, if you could squeeze in. You have another walk-in pantry on this side. So it's really, really cool. Even some more counter space over here with 
some jelly beans and soap, and a window. Just in this little corner, you get some natural light. I just love the little detail, but back into the main kitchen, boom. Look at the size of this island, huge. It has that gorgeous waterfall effect on the side. The lighting at the top is just amazing. Everything is really great. The sink is huge, it's a country style, massive sink. So when you're sitting here washing dishes, you're looking to your left, I'm seeing all the way down the inlet. It's just, it just makes me wanna get on my boat, drive to the ocean, and think about the house while I'm out there. And then as I turn around to glance at what I'm gonna be cooking with, once again, boom, Wolf appliances. Huge Wolf vent above, so that way while you're cooking, all of that beautiful juice and smoke is getting sucked up into there and blown outside. So your neighbors are just thinking, wow, they got a great house, they know how to cook. I mean, what can't these people do? It's just, it's remarkable, honestly, but I love this appliance, it's gorgeous, it's like a piece of art. And then just notice the cabinet space everywhere. Cabinets all around, at the top of pineapples in them. I don't know if that's symbolic of anything. Might be, who knows? But yeah, look how big these cabinets is. You don't have enough dishes in your house to fit these cabinets. Half of them are gonna be empty. All this space down here, soft clothes, as I said. And then just down here, we have your cabana bath. It's a full, full bathroom. And the great part is, is that if you're entertaining, the guests don't need to go into any bedrooms. They can just come into here, take a shower, use the bathroom. From the pool, everything, just right through here. And then you have tile on the floor, so nothing's getting damaged. And then probably one of the most iconic places to have breakfast, you're sitting here and you're just looking out, looking back on the beautiful kitchen, the light fixture, everything in this room just makes sense. And this is a spot where I would have my sugar-free Cheerios with Swerve and almond milk. <laughs> Before we go outside, we have to finish with the first floor, I think. I think we can't just go outside just yet. We have to leave that for later. A little teaser, follow me this way. And as I'm walking through, note, look at the space we have in here. Speakers all around for when you're watching TV. And you'll notice as I'm coming by, there's two buttons on the wall that say door fault and in use. That's because this is an elevator. Those are the buttons that you see when you have an elevator. So we're gonna click this, open the door, boom, slide this back. Wow, I don't think I've ever seen an elevator with a mirror in it. Eric, you can stay in the shot. I don't care if you're in it or not. It's just beautiful. Look at the size of it. It's not like those tiny old school elevators. You have design on the wall. The, 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 the same trim that we had outside comes inside, wraps around, even a steel bar. I mean, this is just so cool. Really, really nice and intercom system. Everything you need in here. Slide that back. Gorgeous. If you don't have one of those in your house, work harder. And then, on this side, you'll see we have that same fireplace I was talking about where your TV would go. It doubles into the office in this room. So it's really nice. You walk in and you have this huge executive's office just sitting here reading about landmark buildings in Paris. Huge mirror on this side. So I'm seeing water over here. I'm seeing water over there. I have access to the water on this side. If I worked here, I'd get no work done. I'd just be distracted the whole time. But just imagine having your whole Mac set up, everything. It's just, perfect space and you know what i think i've teased it enough why don't we head on outside let's go back out the traditional way oh wait no we didn't finish i can't do it just yet sorry youtube you have to keep following me we have another guest suite on this side i know i know boom guest suite downstairs if you need somebody that needs to be downstairs you have an in-law that doesn't want to use the elevator or the stairs i don't know why they wouldn't but you have this space down here as a bedroom with its full ensuite and i love the three windows that you have over here that are like almost floor to ceiling letting in all that natural light looking really really good even a walk-in closet on this side boom for you for anything that you need and then the last last i promise the last feature that we're going to see down here we have the elevator not the elevator huh, we have the garage on this side this is your single car garage elevator and the other side had the two car garage elevator so now, YouTube, I'm so sorry. Let's actually come back this way and head outside. We've got the doors open all the way. So if you're entertaining or you're just doing a YouTube video like this, it doesn't get much better than that. As you step out, at the top with the wood finish, the lights going all the way down. You got two chairs sitting right there. So when you're laying in these chairs, you're looking out, you got the greatest view in the world. And we'll start on this side actually, over here. Look at your rimless, Jacuzzi, literally look how rimless that is. Barely even like a centimeter of water. One more time, one more time, yep. 
Don't let your girl see that. And then as we come down over here, this is some lounging space, you know what I mean? Very, very nice. Look at this couch, woo! Gorgeous, you got the orchids, the fan above if it's not a cold day. Uh, even a space, I think, over here, if you want to put in like a wet bar or a TV on the wall, let your mind run free, this is your house. A couple places to lounge over here. And then let's actually just quickly do a 180 and I want to show you the summer's kitchen on this side. So as we come over here, we have some more places to sit down and lounge. Even, I think this is the first time I've ever seen this. The, the lounger has like a sidebar for the drink. Look at that. That's, that's really cool. And then we have our summer's kitchen on this side. Blaze Marine Series Grill. And the same ceiling that we saw over by the outdoor area when we walked out, it's the same thing over here with some hi-hats. A place to sit down and eat after whoever knows how to cook is grilling. They just throw it down for you. Beautiful, brand new, never used. Absolutely gorgeous. Fridge on this side. And I just love how there's like, this open space where the air can go in and out, it just flows through, smoke up the whole neighbors, let them know what's going on. And then come over here, Eric, we'll walk down these steps. Be careful, there's one, two, three, four steps. And you'll see from one side all the way to the other side, we have 90 feet of water frontage. I mean, how much more space do you need? Get a smaller boat at that point. You don't need a bigger boat than that. And as we walk down over here, the lighting on each pillar, and this is just, I think this is one of the nicest areas in the whole home. I mean, Let's, let's paint a little picture, right? You're sitting here, having a drink, fire, some sparkling water. I mean, what, hey, this, is, this is a masterpiece. What a gorgeous home. On a day like today, honestly, I wanna put my hands in that fire. I can't, ooh, it's too hot, it's too hot, yeah. But um, looking back on the house, you can see Alex up there filming. <laughs> but uh, let's actually make our way back inside so I can head up and show you what upstairs has to offer. Let's go. Stepping back in. Look at this. It's honest, this right here is a piece of art. I almost just want to take it because of how it looks. I love the wood and the glass and the steel and the wood railing. Eric, I think we gotta take this, I'm sorry. You're holding so much equipment, I feel bad, but even look, I mean, when you walk up, huge windows went all the way top of the second story ceiling. This is insane. All right, so walking up, one thing that's catching my eye is the chandelier again. It's literally almost from the bottom to the top story. It's beautiful, wraps around the windows. I mean, this thing is gorgeous, quite honestly. And then coming up, just like downstairs, you walk up to a window that's completely open with the view of the water. I mean, this is just what you wanna see every day. Every inch of this place is just memorable. The light fixture above, I mean, what even is that? It's like when you were a kid and played pickup sticks. It's just beautiful. <laughs> what a weird reference. The art on the walls, this couch right here. Once again, I have to paint a picture for you. Sitting on this couch, looking to your right, seeing the water, you know, you got Jason Matus luxury tour videos on. I mean, your life can't get much better than that, to be honest. And then out here, we have a balcony that is shared with the main suite, but I'm gonna show it to you because the main suite has its own balcony. So look, you got places to sit, lounge, you know, you have friends over, entertaining, they can come outside, spread the room, but look at the view that you got. I mean, look at this view. It's perfect. Sunny South Florida, pool, blue day. This is what people talk about all over the world and you have it in your backyard. Just exceptional, honestly. And then, so we'll head back in. We'll start on my left over here. As you walk down, the guest suites are not furnished, so I won't waste too much time. I'm gonna take you straight into the en suites. On my right, you can still see, though, the size in the room. Look at the size in these rooms. You know, the windows are huge, letting in tons of natural light. Walk-in closet over here. Every guest bedroom is gonna have this. Perfect, huge open space. And then your en suite. This is where the detail is gonna be for you to see. Each one has a kind of its own characteristic. Look at the mirror that we have here, Eric. Look at that. Crazy design, super tall showers. So, you know, if you're a big person, you're gonna be fitting in there with no problem. And then we'll come back in over here, go right across. And as we're walking across, we're gonna have our laundry room. And they didn't just throw like a little teeny room with washer and dryer. They have a proper walk-in laundry room. As you come in, the tile on the floor, 
I know when my mom sees that, she's gonna want it in our house. So I'm probably not gonna show her this video. And then on my right, we even have a dog washing station with a little hose or you just wanna rinse off your muddy shoes, you know, finish on the countertop, washer, dryer, the storage space, even a window in the laundry room. Some people don't have windows in their bedroom. It's just, love this. And then on my left, we're gonna have the last guest suite on this side. This one's got a more remarkable view. It's a little smaller, but who's gonna complain when you got tri windows looking out and access to the balcony on the water? We can talk about the light fixture in here. It's like a snowflake coming from heaven. Boom. And then your ensuite on this side. This one, Eric, you can actually walk into because it has a chandelier in here. I don't think I've ever seen this. <laughs> There's a chandelier in the guest bathroom. Huge, huge window, you know, shower. I mean, look at the finish in here. It's like the white tile as opposed to the blue tile. And you know, what kind of soap do we have here? Gentleman exclusive sandalwood. That's really good, what's this? Coconut and Shia? Oh my God, it smells like a pretty girl. Love this, it's a beautiful, beautiful bathroom. But now let's head back into the main hallway. We'll come back over here, make a sharp right. And as I'm walking, I'm gonna slow down my, my pace because on the left I see water, on the right I see my huge front entrance. I'm just in utter awe. And we're gonna walk straight. This is where your elevator comes up over here. Probably some, oh, this is your AC unit over here. I always get those confused with like pantries or like uh, linen closets. And on my left, we're gonna have our final guest suite. As we walk in, this is kind of like the same model as the one we saw by the water, but it's facing the front. We have an ensuite over here. And then once again, like every ensuite, it's got its own special finish. This is like more of a darker sandalwood. Oh, look, wild honey. Eric, smell this. Bro, this is so, it smells like the beach. Very nice. Love it, and everything in here is kind of sandalwoody and tan. I'm just a big fan of how they change each room. It gives it like a characteristic, almost. But now, enough with the jokes, enough with the funny sniffing of the soap, unless there's soap in there. I wanna show you the main suite of this house. As you walk in, come in with me. We're gonna, we're gonna start off very easy. On my right, we're gonna start with the bathroom. Boom, you walk in. Got this gorgeous finish on the floor, even on the countertop over here, single sink. And you're thinking, Jason, I thought it was supposed to be his and her sink. We're getting there, don't worry. I mean, this is a single sink. I could tell by the soap, I could tell by the teak wood cardamom that this might be his side. You have a bathroom with, I mean, is this gonna be open automatic? Toto toilet that sanitizes when you walk in. Take a look at the shower. I want you to do me a huge favor right now. I want you to imagine yourself Taking a shower, you walk in, right? Rain head above, shower in front of you, and the hand nozzle, and then you have a window over here looking out onto the water. I will put a pillow in here and sleep right here. Don't even need a bedroom. And if that wasn't enough for you, in the bathroom, you also have a walk-in closet on this side. Come in, it's huge. Walk-in closet in here. I know, we didn't expect it to be like this. And then the last, last thing I'm gonna mention, TV on the wall that looks like a frame, perfect for Jace Matuk's luxury home tour videos. I'm gonna say it every time I see a TV, cause that's all that should be on your TV. And then we'll walk in, and now here comes that money shot, ready? We're gonna walk in. Boom. All right, that's all the teas you're getting. We're starting with the next bathroom. Now this is gonna be her side of the bathroom. As we walk in, this is crazy. Come in and make like a turn in this way. So in her bathroom, in her water closet, you have the Toto toilet, the Toto bidet, chandelier above, in the water closet. Remarkable. Walk-in shower over here and the finish in the shower wall is like mother of pearl. Oh, I think it is. This is gorgeous. Rain head above, the handheld. This is just a remarkable bathroom. Single sink over here with, you know, like the more royal mirror. There's too much stuff here to sniff, but I'm sure it all smells really good. And then soak in tub here with a little hibiscus flower and a cup of water and a candle. And then, as I said before, TV on the wall for, exactly, Jason Matouk's luxury home tour videos. And I know what you might be thinking. Jason, is this a guest bedroom? No, this is the closet. Welcome to her closet. 
this is more than enough space. If she needs more than this, get a different house because this is most for most human beings is what you need. Shoes, dresses, handbags, accessories, island in the middle. There's not much more that you need. Windows for natural light, high hats above, chef's kiss. And now, no more playing around. I'm gonna show you the main suite of this house. It's just as breathtaking as it gets. Come in with me. Boom. As you walk in, insane light fixture above. This has gotta be one of the most comfortable beds we've ever seen on this channel. And while you're laying in here, looking out, you just have a money view. Just a gorgeous view from your bed, from the whole room, a mirror on this side. So if you choose that side while you're sleeping, you look to that side, you still see the water. TV on the wall, throw this out, sell it for money because you don't need this TV. There's too much entertainment outside already. If you use this, I can't help you. Unless it's Jason Two Slugs Your Home Tour videos. That's awesome. And just to wrap up the whole room, the feel of the room, you have this like couch over here where you just talk about your problems and then you look to your right and realize you have no problems. Cause look what you're living. If you have any problems and you see this, no one can help you. And then the balcony, private for the main suite out here, two hands on the rail, left and right look, you realize, wow, I'm very lucky. Very, very lucky. And this right here is where I'm going to end today's video. I just wanna say thank you for coming on this tour with Eric and I and Alex somewhere in the house. And just follow the channel if you want. Don't forget, you didn't even hit the subscribe button, you gotten this far, come on. And you know, if you did hit the subscribe button and you already support us and you wanna support the channel even further, buy our NFT. That helps us out big time, get better equipment, get our morale up in the, in the office, you know how it is. And if you have any questions about this house, all the information will be down below. Love you, care about you, care about you more than any other YouTuber cares about their audience. And uh, have a good day.